Okay. Yo, what is good with y'all? Back with a classic video. It's been so long since I've had a nice Pizza Hut muck in my life, but uh, a mild departure from what we usually do. We usually do a just pepperoni, but today I didn't want to pay like a million dollars for the meal that I would have to get to get that. And also it comes in a square, the one that I was going to get. And I was like, I need triangles today. Okay. Tell me down below. Does a square cut pizza ruin pizza? Does it need to be triangular or does it the square matter? Because I think it does matter. And today I wanted these little triangular fingers. So anyways, this is a triple crown it's called. And I got it because they had large favorites for $15.99. So it came out to like 20 bucks and uh, it's pepperoni, green peppers and mushrooms, which I like all of them. And, um, you know, we're going to graduate from a child style of pizza to a little bit more of an adult pizza today. No. And so for the first time in a long time, before we do anything more, we must pour. So here we go. Fresh glass of ice. I got the Diet Pepsi on deck, ready to go. And it's been a while since we've done this. Nice and slow. Fizz at the top, doing its thing, 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 thing. While we're doing that, of course, we must mention the coldest water. Shout out to them, best sponsor in the world, I swear to God. Also, a really good product. Also, once again, shout out to you guys for uh, going through and purchasing. I just received some of my commissions the other day, and you guys have been buying up. So, like, I'm just always forever indebted and grateful for you for actually uh, going through and getting a bottle. And I, I really hope you enjoy them because. I'm like real real spit i know i drink through this cup on here and that's mainly because of ice and being see-through it's a mukbang like we want to see the thing but i use this all the time when i go walking uh, i've been bringing it to the beach and stuff all summer it keeps things really really cold so you can save 10 percent down below code hoodie in my links in my description and uh let's get to this pie now you guys know that I used to always come equipped with the Runny Ranch. We got that. And we're bringing back the pepperoncinis, of course, as per usual. And uh, if you're hearing something outside, this annoying sound, that is my weird neighbor who... This is my aggressively weird neighbor who needs to live in the country. He has a, a forerunner, quad, whatever. It's loud as shit. And he drives around the neighborhood. So thanks, buddy. Cool. How about just not do that in the city? Not really required. Here he comes again. Just ripping around the neighborhood on a quad. Why? And please, like... Oh! Oh! In the city, though? Couldn't just not do that? All right. Well, now that he's quieted down and chilled out, let's go ahead and do what we always have to do. Dip it in way too much runny ranch. You guys know I got the runny ranch. That drips good. This bite, this ranch bite, is dedicated to chicken nugget. If you're watching, you know who you are. This one's for you. Killing it. The cook on it is great. Still quite warm. Not quite cheese string polish, but still really good. Now, full transparency, I asked you guys on the community tab to help me pick a meal from a hangover, and it was Pizza Hut. That one, and you asked me to talk, or I asked you about what you want me to talk about, and predominantly it was Y'all being nosy about my house, my the buying of a house. 
So I can get to that. But this isn't the hangover day. This is the next day. I'm not hungover currently. Um, I was going to do that video hungover, but the hangover actually set in way harder after I asked than I thought. And I ended up just going back to sleep and like surviving more or less. So um, I'm getting to this video, but I'm not hungover, which is honestly better in my opinion. So, all right. Before we do anything else, in terms of like stories and talking, I do want to do this one thing. I brought these crispy onions. I found them at the dollar store. Turns out they're awesome. And I actually just want to spoon on some of this ranch onto a piece as like an adhesive layer and hit it with crispy onions. Oh, my neighbor's back at it again. Cool guys, love them. My favorite guy. But a crispy onion ranch bite. Taking it to new heights. Man. That crispy texture on there. Out of control, good. I haven't had a dirty hot meal like this in a good while. So <clears throat> we're here for it. I got to make another one of those absolutely immediately again, for sure. Because it was that good. Funny because French's makes a brand of these in the grocery store. They're very popular. And, uh, they were always kind of too salty for me and kind of weird. And I just saw these in the dollar store and they actually looked really, really quality. They blow the French's brand out of the water. Hands down, bar none. All right, you guys know I'm a close-up addict, but all right, come on, look at that. New inventions. Hmm? Man, these crispy onions are changing the game. Hitting entirely differently. All right, so let's talk about this house. Your man's finally has uh, his own landing pad in his life. Spent most of my life, the last 10 years, um, under the threat of like, when am I, uh, when am I going to get evicted or when is this person going to sell the property that I rent in and things like that. So you're always kind of on edge. You never really feel fully comfortable. Like you've been able to establish some sort of a secure life. But I have that now. 
and it's amazing. Now, the house was secured in April. I moved in first week of April. So I've been here for like five months. I just have never said anything about it on the channel yet. And I mean, it's mainly because It's just such a YouTuber move to do like the in front of the house and like I bought a house. I mean, it's kind of clickbaity. It's a little bit um, braggadocio. I'm not really wasn't into the idea of that, like flexing my house. And now the other thing is that it's like. A lot of these YouTubers who do that, they're ones who have like gotten really successful and they end up buying like a legitimately pretty crazy house. And uh, it's like, I bought a very modest, like starter home kind of deal. You know, it's a main floor and a basement that was just newly renovated. Uh, before moving in, before buying it. But the house is like, you know, it's like 70 years old kind of thing. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's just not, not like, I'm not trying to flex it. Like it's it, it's a nice place, it's like it's good. Um, I have actually a tenant, like a renter in the space. So uh, my mortgage, is covered by the rent so when I was saying on that video the other day like I'm financially pretty cool it's like I don't pay a mortgage and uh, my bills are just light it's just like regular life like internet cell phone you know, water, hydro, shit like that, but nothing too crazy. So I'm in a good position that way financially. So huge stress off my back. Um, <clears throat> I also chose to live in the newly renovated area of it, the basement. Uh, just because, in my opinion, it was the nicer part of the house. And the main reason why is the bathroom and more specifically the shower. I have like a uh, like a porn shower, basically. It's huge. Open concept. Uh, has like a bench in it. And like the big, wide, flat tile floor. With like the with the, the the waterfall head and everything, you could literally fit like twelve people in my shower. It is easily the highlight of the house. So so enjoyable. I can't tell you the vibe of like a non cramped shower, like a bathtub shower, the ones that are bathtubs and a shower, like no thank you <laughs> anymore after this. So that's hype. It's on a corner lot. I got a nice yard. I got a nice shed. Nice back patio. Um, deck situation you know got the table the chairs the umbrella the barbecue all the things it's been a good vibe this summer for sure super stoked on it uh, my only thing is it was because of covid at the time and also i'm waiting to get my <clears throat> my full license back because i let it expire when i lived in toronto and i just never needed a license in toronto i've said this before and um I don't have a, I didn't have a vehicle or anything and COVID was happening. So I wasn't really able to, in my 
main space yet fully furnished like a like a living space i want to get an l coach have it all picked out uh you know a tv and like a like a like a tapestry a carpet a rug and like a coffee table and shit and just like some plants and whatever uh i gotta do all that still and i just haven't been rushing that because because it was covid like you're not having people over you're not enter entertaining i really just don't even live that life yet anyways of like having people in, over and entertaining too much um i'm not trying to impress like a female or anything so it's like those are the type you, those are the type of things you have your shit together when like you have a nice living room if you're gonna use it a lot with other people have like boys night or friends over or a uh, little like gatherings or if you have like a girl in your life like you, you don't want to look like a fucking scrub so it's like she comes over and it's like what you just have your bedroom set up and then there's like n this like it's so immature so i'm and i'm just not even in the realm of trying to do any of that right now so That'll come in time. Um, I found out today actually that my dad was on the on the hunt for me, just keeping an eye out for because um, I'm getting my license for vehicles. Like, because he works or his buddy owns a business that he has like all these work trucks, and the work trucks they're you know they're driven hard, but they are maintained well. And every so often, he just replaces his fleet with like new new trucks and then sells off the old trucks for pretty cheap so i got a link on a truck today so i'm getting a truck and then once i have my truck i like we'll figure out the rest of the house in terms of getting it all set up in that way and to be honest before i blew money on a couch or anything like that. I wanted a vehicle first. Because let's be honest. A vehicle is. You know. Serves more utility. And is a. Uh, way for you to be able to go make more money and shit. So that you can like. Actually deck out your place. So. That's all dope. It's falling in line. Super happy. Super stoked. And I'll also say this. It is no easy task to lock in a house. There's a lot of fucking little like headaches, hassles, tasks, hoops you gotta jump jump through. Going back and forth with the seller. Sometimes that seller they get pushy. Uh, they also like tell lies to you because they want you to close out quick. If the house has been on market for a while, which this one was, which was strange to me because it is such, it was such a good spot. Like it, it just didn't make sense to me that it, why it wouldn't sell that quickly, but it was on market for a while. And ironically enough, the people selling it, they were like on the late twenties, early thirties. And, uh, her husband had just actually got work in, uh, Toronto. So they had to move to Toronto for his job. And I was just coming from Toronto. So their, their parents were actually doing the sale of the home because they had already moved to Toronto and the house was sitting empty waiting to be sold. And they were hem hemorrhaging rent or mortgage here and paying Toronto rent. So... They wanted it to like happen quickly and uh, I just kept running into little hangups on my end, just like another week, another two weeks. And then they started getting all weird about like, oh, well, we have all these other offers now and we have uh, like a cash offer and all these little things. But 
in the end, at the end of the day, I think it was just like little mind games to like try to hurry up the process because I don't know if they fully believed that I was actually going to commit. But divine alignment occurred and I was able to get it done. And it's amazing. And what the coolest part is, of it is, is like, because I have the mortgage and everything covered, I can just like do like work another job or whatever, do this and shit, save, save, save for like two years. Then rent out the space that I currently occupy. So it'd be like mortgage covered profiting have money a bunch saved grab a next place do the same thing live in half rent half so it's like it's like profit from this one but that profit will go back into the mortgage of the new one but the new one will have a renter so that's profit and then it's like property owned renter rental property live in with a renter profiting and living for free essentially so it's all good man like I'm in I'm in a really good position right now and uh, I don't know but yeah I, I'm really really grateful it's super awesome and after all these years of like just stressing all the time uh, it feels extra amazing, to be honest. So, yeah, man, uh, super hype, super grateful. And <clears throat> let me just tell you, like I said, getting a house is no easy task. It's, it's pretty crazy. The other thing I'll say is this, too, is like in condos and shit, you don't have to like do any of the any anything really other than just live in it and you know no maintenance or anything but when you have a house and a yard and a lawn and a anything that goes wrong and a da 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 it's like it's so much general day to day or week to week or whatever upkeep maintenance it takes up a lot of your time man And once you're in it, you start looking around, you're like, okay, that could be fixed up or that could be, I'm lucky in the, in the sense of this house was already in great condition. So nothing really needs too much work, but there's things that like over time could use like bettering, like just like there's some gravel that needs to be like turned over and planted like actual grass and like some pathways that need to be laid. And uh, I have a little driveway that should be paved. All the windows are like new and good though, which is awesome. Everything like that. Appliances are all new and good. Kitchen's fairly modern. Uh, washer dryer are good, fairly new. So it is hype. It is hype. And what's good too is like, in the rental unit, the person works nine to five. They are out of the house mostly nine, like 50 hours a week. So if I'm ever here chilling, uh, wanting to make music or whatever, I just do that all day. I can do whatever I want all day, right? Loud as I want. And then when they, just to respect them as, as, as a person, be quiet at night, be chill, be easy. And, uh, and yeah, I got lots of freedom, lots of time, but, uh, once I get this truck here and my license back on September 4th, 
I'm actually craving, like I'm itching to get back out into the world. Like I actually want to go, I actually just want to go back to work to, to literally talk to people. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, just to be around human beings and like have like those, those, those work friendships and just like meet some people and stuff because just this staying at home all the time and working from home gets like you start to go fucking crazy dude it's actually kind of nuts like it's it's super awesome because it's peaceful and like you don't clearly you don't have to be put in situations where it's going to be annoying and stressful where you have to deal with shitheads or idiots or there can be like brutal people at work but there's also like good people at work there's always those kind of like those fun friendships that you create at work and stuff like that and honestly i just i'm down to get back to like a job where I have to like physically move and stand and do shit like eight hours a day because when I'm at home, it's just like, I just find myself not moving enough and I actually want to move more. So, so yeah, all is well over here, to be honest. Um, this pizza hut was quite good. I think this was a large, so I probably crushed about a whole medium to be honest and uh, I'm full and that's it. A little update for you to let you know about my life. And until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.